Hello and welcome. We are talking today about holistic nutrition, holistic food with our holistic certified holistic expert. Exactly. Anita Stern. Anita, welcome Hi. to the show and tell, tell our viewers me. everything about what we're doing here. We're doing a pantry clean out. We're understanding holistic nutrition. What is it? Holistic nutrition is considered to be part of holistic health and this is an approach when you treat a person's well-being by taking into consideration all aspects of life that can either nourish or deplete a person mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually. Like how? So just to give you an example, if you are telling me that you have sugar cravings in the afternoons, what I would do as a holistic nutrition professional, first I would do a nutrition health assessment for you, which means I would look into your diet and let's see that I, I am looking into your diet, but you eat pretty healthy, you eat balanced meals. So I would wonder why do you why do you have why do you have why do you have sugar cravings? So in this case, I would look into other areas in your life, and I might discover that uh, you don't get enough sleep, and it's even really? scientifically proven that not enough sleep. Uh, can cause sugar cravings. So as a holistic nutrition practitioner, right. I am approached um, or I am trained to approach health and healing from a whole person perspective. So that's holistic right there, but how would someone like me, how can I get into it? I would uh, highly recommend natural food for you, so okay. you eat natural food. And it's really easy to remember, I'm going to tell you one word, soul foods, which is seasonal, organic, unrefined and local foods. S-O-U-L. Exactly, like soul foods. Okay. And But I would look at you also as a biochemically unique individual with specific and unique right. foods. It is, and you know, we've never looked at food, I mean, we don't usually look at food that way. It's just a craving or we eat it because we have to, right, or we enjoy it. Now, right over here in front of us, uh, we have a pantry cleanout, right? This exactly. is what anybody's typical pantry will have, you know, breads and rice and pasta and vegetables. So tell us a little bit about what we're going to do here. Okay, let me pick up first, let's say, white rice. Okay, so white rice. First, what you want to do is look at the ingredients. Mm -hmm. And here, for example, you can see that how much fiber? Nothing. It's zero. Nothing. Zero. Right. Exactly. And you need fiber. Your body needs fiber. So can you just help me to find the healthy version of well, the white rice? Well, that would be brown rice, fully cooked over here. Exactly. Brown rice. How much uh, fiber? Two, mil two grams. Two grams. And three exactly. Grams. You need to have like 20-25 grams per day. And the good thing is with brown rice, because a lot of times I get this from my clients that, oh, I don't want to eat brown rice because it takes a lot of time to, to make it. Right, this right. is actually ready made, fully cooked. So, so no excuses no there. Excuse. No excuses. And of course, we use a lot of this in our Indian food. We use ghee. Ghee is very, very healthy. And we have butter. And butter. So tell us a little bit about this. So this is, again, a very controversial topic. That's why I picked up these kind of products. Because these days, we always say that uh, saturated food is very unhealthy. But more and more scientifically proven studies come out. And what happens, basically, you know, we are... We are made of trillions and trillions of cells and all of our cells has a cell membrane and the cell membrane basically made of saturated fat. So you need saturated fat. A lot, a lot of times what happens, people don't eat fat. We need fat. We need fat and oils and a lot of times they don't eat it and they, they tired in the afternoons, they have brain fog. So actually if you want to feel good, you need to eat good quality fat. And I would mention a few, for example, butter and ghee, bar, butter and ghee, and also we have something you said you were telling me earlier about olive oil. That that exactly. What I cannot imagine good versus bad olive oil. So olive let oil. me show you, for example, can you pick, pick up? Yes. So this is uh, an unrefined uh, olive oil. Okay. And the way you can say it, you can just read the labels. It, it is going to say that it's refined. And the other thing that I would like to mention is that this is a, a very light uh, um, bottle. Color of the bottle is bottle. Blue. And it's okay. very, really important because oils in general are very sensitive to heat and light. So this, since this is a very, or oh, that are very um, light, uh, light passes through it, right? Exactly, it passes through. So, if, and if it gets oxy oxidized, it can create inflammation in your body. And inflammation is the beginning stage of any kind of chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases. Exactly. Now I know that pasta. I mean, it's it's, it's you have white versus brown. But I'm curious, and we'll get to that, I guess. But tell me a little bit about about vegetables. 
vegetables. Good thought, right? Exactly. So let me see. That's the unhealthy version of vegetables. And here's the thing. Why is that? The first thing that what you want, want to do is when you choose a product, you want to read the labels. You want to read ingredients. Right. So for example, if you start reading the ingredient list, you can find uh, sugar, natural flavor, natural flavor, so sugar. Okay. So four types of sugar added in order to make it a little bit more tasty. So when you actually, when you are buying um, the simple frozen vegetable oils, there is only one ingredient that you want to see on the ingredient is the vegetables itself. itself. Yeah, exactly. And what about, I think this is a great uh, country clean out. I mean, almonds, I would have never thought you were telling me about tell us about that and versus this is another very set of almonds. Yeah. Exactly. So this is just for the viewers, this is roasted and salted and this is dry roasted and salted. And the major difference, here is the thing. Um, in general, nuts and seeds are really heat sensitive. If you roast them, if you roast them in like vegetable oils, let's say, you are basically brewing the oils in the nuts. So you want to make sure that if it's dry sorted, so there's no, no vegetable oil no, at no all. Vegetable oil, okay. so it's still healthy because again, you want to get. You not just want. You are not eating the nuts and the seeds because it's it's yummy, right? We, we all like it, but you want to get the nutrients out of them. And uh, okay, that's that. Sounds exciting. And let me. Uh, yeah, I can just see if something really interesting, like white bread. White bread versus. This bread. Tell us the, uh, For example, again, if I start reading the ingredients of this bread, uh, I can see sugar, natural flavor, a lot of starch. But the main thing is that if you want to buy a bread, you basically want to see only like maximum five ingredients on the label. Because okay. it generally takes five ingredients to make a good, healthy bread. Okay. But if, for example, here, I don't know if you can see, yeah, but like 20. 20. Yeah. Or this, was, this would be the healthy version where. Unfortunately, I can't show it to the viewers right now, but it's only labeled two ingredients. Yeah. So even though this is brown bread, it's unhealthy because it's got way more than five way ingredients. Exactly. But this has got less. So, and, and also, if you just do this, like this, and it's so it's soft. very soft, even if it says whole grain, it has unrefined flour in it too. But sometimes they make it whole grain from whole grain and from not whole grain. So this is this, this is the whole grain, grain. Exactly. and you can put so much, so many things on it like butter, pesto to make it a uh, little bit tastier. Because I know a lot of times what I get from my clients is, oh, this is too like thick and you know, it's not that hard. Okay. But if you can put a lot of things on it. Wow, this this this. So this is all good, and I think this is going to be helpful for me and the viewers. And you know, we you are so passionate about this. This is such a tireless topic nutrition and losing weight you know we always struggle with it and we're always trying to know what is the right things to buy if you walk into a grocery store and you're clueless so thank yeah. you so much Anita but if you want to know more about holistic nutrition you can get in touch with Anita Stone at anitanutrition.com thank you Anita and we're thank gonna you. have you back thank on you our show um, this, this is really gonna help all of you